In 1994, you lost the war. Now in 2020, you want to restart the war to win the war. We did not lose the war. We lost the battle. From the very moment of signing the trilateral ceasefire agreement between Armenia, Azerbaijan and Nagorno-Karabakh in May 1994, Azerbaijani high-ranking officials and the heads of state, Heydar Aliyev and Ilam Aliyev, were preparing their nation for war but never for peace. Some statements of military rhetoric and instigating hatred make it vivid and undeniable that throughout 26 years of the peace talks, they were preparing for a second Karabakh war, which was launched by Azerbaijan with a large-scale offensive early in the morning of September 27, 2020. The war is not over. The first phase of the war was just completed. We must do it so that we can liberate our lands by military means at any moment. Azerbaijan keeps building up its armed forces for the possible recapture of Nagorno-Karabakh, which is an Armenian-speaking enclave in Azerbaijan, Aliyev said. Twitter statements coming from the official Twitter channel of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Armenia is a country of no value. It is actually a colony, an outpost run from abroad. We are not living in peace. We are living in a state of war. Everyone must know this. The war is not over. Only the first stage of it is, but the second stage may start soon. President Ilham Aliyev again declared that Azerbaijan will eventually gain control over not only Nagorno-Karabakh, but also Yerevan. After that, we will return to our ancient lands, to Yerevan, Geichai, and Zangezur. These are our historic lands. The young generation must know that our lands are not confined to the territory of modern-day Azerbaijan. We must and we will return to those lands. This ethnic hatred is another expression of the anti-Armenian xenophobic policy of Azerbaijan, which is fueled even in Azerbaijani schools, where the textbooks are full of hatred and calls for reprisals on Armenians. I said that if they do not leave our lands of their own free will, we will chase them away like dogs, and we are doing that. An anti-Armenian demonstration was held in Baku, with the obvious encouragement and support of the government. Despite COVID-19 restrictions, thousands of Azerbaijanis came out into the streets, chanting death to Armenians. Meanwhile, in Azerbaijan, during the ongoing active war, many villages mostly populated by ethnic minorities are under lockdown by COVID-19 pretense. However, this might be a preventive measure, driven by Aliyev's fears. What is Aliyev afraid of? 